Yeah, hi everyone. Um, just bought a new phone and I'm going to do an unboxing. This is my old phone, which uh, some of you already know from the uh, various videos I've made over the last year. This is the Lumia 920, the Nokia. I've just taken it out of its case for the first time in months and months, just to see how it looks. And it's looking very nice still, all in good order. Overall, this has been a very nice phone. Um, had various ups and downs to the software over the uh, period, but uh, it's been great. You know, it's only got better. That's the point. It's got better and better, not worse and worse. Um, and now that it's on GDR2 and has uh, the nice Nokia program app, and it's got, um, you know, this beautiful app here, and it's got the uh, stereo rich recording, distortion free recording and all the good bits. Um, they of course put out the new phone, the uh, Lumia 1020 and I sort of knew that if the phone showed up in my shop locally I'd have a hard time not buying it. And it's now the it's 27th of uh, September 2013 and it's just showed up in my local shop today. So, went down it was the last black one they had. They had plenty of yellow. I wanted a black one. Um, if you're wondering why I bought a black one, because it's a hard choice to make. You know, what color do you get? People had to make that choice. I suppose you make the choice with all Lumias. That's the whole point, isn't it? And then I end up getting black anyway. There you go. Um, the reason I like black, um, be one of them is that uh, you know the yellow phone looks really nice, um, but as with anything fashionable, the more fashionable the item is, the quicker it goes out of fashion. That's one problem. The quicker you get sick of it. Um, and the black is basically neutral. That's much more like me. I'm fairly neutral. So um, black, I like that I can set it up with any color, any theme color, and it looks good. I'm not sure how good the yellow Lumia looks with the brown theme color on the phone. See, for example, whereas this actually sort of looks interesting with the brown. So it's nice. I, I like that with about the black. It works with all the colors equally well. Um, so the phone showed up. It was very expensive where I live. Very expensive. Um, but uh, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> and who wants to be upgrading their phone, you know, once every year? But this is what's been happening ever since I've been, you know, buying these Lumias. It's been once a year. It's almost like having an iPhone, isn't it? Um, of course, I never buy on contract, so it's always just outright. I just buy the phone, use it, and then I can sell it, whatever. So this one will probably be sold. Hold on to it a little bit and then sell it. Um, not worth a lot, but um, anyhow, let's get on with it. So now I did start this video a little earlier, and uh, then my phone rang and I had to take it, so I'd already cut the thing here by that point. But I hadn't opened it, so I've just started the video again. And uh, the thing is cut, so I'm going to pull it out a second time, which is just as good as the first time. Um, except with that little hair on it there. Get away. Okay, so there's the phone, all in lovely black. And uh, I'll pull it out. I haven't looked at it like this yet. Um, obviously, it's got this plastic stuff around it. First impressions. Uh, it has this um, straight. Oops, just turned it on. Something that I thought they should do on the 920. In fact, I'll comment on that a bit later on the actual design. I'll wait till I actually get it out of the plastic. I'll go, I'll go through the most boring part of the unboxing first. Everyone hates this. Wind forward if you want. Um, what's in the box? But it's an unboxing, so you sort of have to go do what's in the box. Now this thing. Um, I think it's really useful. I keep my one here on my keychain, full of goodies, and uh, use that to uh, pick things out of my teeth. <laughs> and to get in the sim. I don't use multiple sims, so I don't really use it for that. But I keep it there just in case. It's nice that it's made to go on a key, key ring, so it's good to have. That's another one of those. See, I can even say lots of stuff about that. Gosh. Uh, in here I've seen in other people's unboxings, one of these is for, oh gosh, that's the one about the shaking. The gentle rattle you hear in your, you hear when shaking your Lumia 1020, so it's the, um, 
the mechanism. They did say that at the launch event that it shakes and you can hear it. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. I'm just gonna lift, move my headset and have a listen to this. Oh yes, yes. Here I'll see. I'm just shaking it in front of the. Yeah, uh, sort of little, little bit of a knocking. It's different from what I thought it was going to sound like. Um, it's not very loud at all. Oops, I've turned that on. Um, so there's power in it. That's good. Um, something I've noticed about the stabilization in this in this phone on other videos, and I will of course be following this up in a few days or a week or so with a proper test of the of the phone of the camera. Um, I've been noticing on other reviews um, shot where they shoot video that the uh, these phones with this stabilization they've got this funny wobble in the on the around the edges because it's emphasized in the edges because it's such a super wide angle lens. You get this real wobbly kind of thing, and um, it looks worse on this than it does on the 920. Quite a bit worse. Now I think it's I've noticed that I think on Pocket Now's video, and so. I'll see what that looks like. It could be due to the different type of um, stabilization that they use in this. Uh, it'll be interesting to see, to try out. So, that's the sound of blur-free photos. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. Now, the thing I did see in some other videos was that they included a free picture. You could get it, you could order a great big picture. But they obviously don't do that here. Maybe that's just for the States. Okay, next boring bit. The little booklet. The little booklet of stuff. Ooh, it's so tiny, I can hardly read it. Ouch. Stuff about the um, camera. Cool. Yeah. Okay, done. Finished. Next bit. Um. Mm hmm. Yep, that's nice and compact. The uh, one I got with the 920 was a little round white one, slightly more compact than that, but um, the, this is probably fits better in the wall. It's so funny how plastic things always get these little, put these little plastic, um, you know, I think glossy gets a little bit of plastic sticky stuff that you can pull off, so it protects the glossy bit during, you know, while it's in the box where nothing's going to happen to it, and then when you get home, yeah, yeah, and pull that bit off and there you go, now you can destroy it. They should just make it um, matte or something. But yeah, how about that? There's a bit of little sticky thing on the bottom of the plug. <laughs> Better leave that on there so I don't wreck it. Um, USB lead. Always good to get a fresh lead. And some ear plonks. Right, so these are the same that came with the uh, 920. Yep. They were pretty average. Um, still nice to have. In fact, it was the lead that got really screwed up on mine. Yeah, it fell to pieces. I remember the lead. I used them in bed and the lead got really badly damaged. Okay, so much for the box. Put all the stuff back in the box. Here we go. New phone, new camera. Hurrah. I'll keep those two out because I'll probably... Actually, I might just use the 920s stuff for now, so yeah, I'll use that later. Okay, back to the phone. Here we go, isn't that nice? Okay. Actually, oh yeah, what I'll do, I'll just. Oh, so I could just slide it out, but obviously I can't. Okay. I will have to open it. Both ends. That's alright. My hands are washed and clean. Exciting, lovely stuff. This is the first and last time it's going to look this beautiful. I always stick this all back together as if as if it's got a phone in it. Here we go. And then I put it back. <laughs> yes, I do. I put it back in the case. Now one thing I did when I bought this, I told the people down at the shop, I said, look, I bought this um, 920 here last year, and I bought it locally rather than online because I wanted to be able to take it back. 
and I never took my 920 back, but um, I've always been tempted to because of the the camera. You know, I get that smearing in the camera, which is in the set of one or two spots, always in the same place, and quite a few cameras have that. And I don't think it's good enough. Um, I'm pretty. I didn't bother because it wasn't that bad. I didn't bother getting it fixed. I didn't want to give up the phone for a month or something. To, so I just didn't bother. I just kept the camera. And I always thought, well, I'll get one of these and then get serious about phone photography. Um, in any case, I did say, look, if this one behaves, if this one ends up with smeary spots in it just like that, I'm bringing it back. Um, he said, yep, yep, no problem. So that's nice. A reason to buy local with it from a local shop. It's not imported or anything. It's not a grey import. It's just a local retail version. And uh, and uh, I will bring it back if it turns out the um, camera doesn't uh, give me a nice, you know, sharp image over the whole so over the whole CCD. Um, if you've seen my other videos, you might have uh, you'll have picked up on that problem. Okay, first impressions. What's it like? Well, it's uh, where's my 920? Hmm. I mean, it's exactly the same size, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same size, same bezel, same everything. The uh, earpiece is no longer cut through the glass, but it's uh, sitting above the glass. We can assume they've done a better job uh, sealing the um, camera. I never had the problem, and there's a bit of dust in my camera, but I never had that problem where this proximity sensor stops working that some people have. Um, I did have the loose battery problem. I'm not sure if this is going to get that. Overall, this phone to me, the 920, and you know, I'm talking about size now, the 920 never felt that big to me. Um, it actually feels nice and slim now because I've taken it out of its case that I always use it in. And so I'm used to that. I'm used to carrying it in that, and it's definitely a bit thicker. But now it feels very svelte and slim. The edges, you know, the way they've rounded off the edges edges makes the phone feel quite slim. You don't feel how thick it is in the middle. It doesn't, you know, the only way you feel that is if you go like that. But if you hold it like this, you can't tell how thick it is. It doesn't really matter how thick it is. So this is <clears throat> basically the same. It feels like it's got a flat back. This I can actually feel, you know, you can feel more of the curve across your, across your palm and fingers. You can feel that it's not flat. Um, this one I can definitely, it feels like a flat phone, so it makes it feel thinner, which uh, I understand it actually is. Um, by a millimeter or so in the middle here, it's about a millimeter or so thinner there. It's just under a centimeter in the middle. Um, certainly feels thinner. This thing at the top, I didn't expect that to get in the way at all, and now it doesn't get in the way at all. I hardly notice it's there. Um, it lets you put your finger up against it a little bit. Don't notice it. Um, I did always think, um, you know, regarding the design, I always thought the original 800 was the pinnacle of this fabula design, they call it, a Nokia. Uh, that had the perfect design, like the Nokia Air 9 and the Lumia 800 was the perfect version of this design. All the corners, all the shapes, the sizes, the proportions were just perfect on that phone. Um, and you need to sort of hold it in person um, to really appreciate that with the phone. I didn't until I was holding it. I uh, realized just how perfect it was, the design. And so with the um, 920 here, I was always slightly disappointed that they did this thing with the, uh, they call the smile or whatever, where it's got a curved back. I always thought, well, maybe they should have just had it curved here if they needed to do that for the um, wireless charging and for this camera, which needed to be quite thick. I thought maybe at the edges they should have just sort of chamfered it off like that. And uh, that's exactly what they've done for this now. They've, uh, it's still thick in the middle. Actually, so it's quite thick in the middle. And then at the ends, they've flattened it off there. And so the ends are basically the same as the uh, Lumia 800, about that big, that thick, you know, which means really quite thin. So top and bottom, it's very thin compared to the uh, older. 920, which looks quite thick in comparison. So that's sort of nice. Um, how does it sit on the desk? I've seen reviews say it wobbles around. Well, hey, you know, this wobbles around. Um, this thing, I'm quite happy to have the um, have it tilted up at me. I'm looking forward to that, because I'm always having to 
put this thing on my coffee tray, uh, coffee, um, on my coffee cup, um, saucer. What do you call a saucer? Yeah, saucer, I guess. Um, I'm always putting it on there when I'm in a cafe to, to, you know, get it up and then I spill my coffee on it or something. And so this one, I'm hoping I can just use it like that, and I can tell, yes, it's definitely tilted towards me a little bit. Not just because of the hump, but because of this bit here also. And because that's flat, I'm expecting this to be much more stable. It hasn't got the, uh, you know, if I put this on something flat like this, which is a metal thing, yeah. It's more stable down here because it can't um, spin, it can't uh, flip left and right, so that's interesting. Uh, this one here, you know, wobbles on the curved back. So I was expecting that to be a little bit better. I am concerned that it'll actually, it's probably going to wear this thing off and because it's anodized black. I'm expecting to see a crescent of uh, aluminium show up through here eventually. So, yeah, but for now, whatever, looks pretty good, sits pretty well on the table, that's quite nice. Um, the other things about the case, got these holes, it hasn't got the wireless charging, I was very disappointed about that, to hear that it wasn't going to have that a few months ago. Um, not so disappointed now, if you've watched my last video about the GDR2 update, and I think the one before that, my battery has been extremely good on this. And I partly think that's due to uh, the fact that I charge it only at night and I don't top it up during the day. Not normally, in any case. And uh, so that regular charging, you know, a good regular cycle gives me a maximum battery life and it's been lasting well past a day. Um, it's usually half full by bedtime, um, still. And so that's fine. So I'm not too worried about the battery and the, I don't want to be charged topping it up all day. That's the main point, and with the wireless I'd be doing that. And the second issue with the wireless is the idea you have to put it on the charger, put it on the wireless charger, and I go to bed with this at night. I'm always watching something or playing a game. I mean, the number of times I've fallen asleep playing Alpha Jacks, going clunk, <laughs> um, well, every night. As I say, this would never make it back onto the charger if I had a wireless charger. But because it's plugged in, it's charged. It always gets charged. And so the only place I do want to have a wireless charger, I was keen to have it in the car. And I looked at the uh, Nokia charger. They do a wireless charging thing with NFC and so on, so it turns on the drive mode and whatever. Um, I wanted to use that, but I've looked at some reviews because it's finally available. It's quite expensive. And the reviews are terrible. It's just too plasticky and nasty. Um, it works well, but it's just not right. Plus though it holds onto the phone like so many car chargers, car holders do, they hold, hold on to, holds onto the phone too low down here and so when it's on its side it's always sort of flopping out. Um, it's just not solid enough, not stable enough. So I'm not going to get that. I'm going to keep using it um, just plugged in without the wireless. Um, I'm pretty sure they could have fitted in there with hardly, without hardly making much of a difference. But a um, little bit of a shame and as you see you get those two holes now because of that. Um, other things about the case, there isn't really any significant difference here. As I say, that's now cut out of the top edge of the glass rather than directly in the glass. Uh, the speakers, this had them left and right. This has it just like the 800 on one side. And uh, the little, um, little lanyard uh, hole, that's interesting to see back on a phone and obviously that suits the idea of it being a camera. It's nice to have a lanyard. You can you know, keep your keep a little wrist strap around your wrist while you're taking photos, while you're touristing around, and you don't have to worry about dropping the camera. I mean, it seems like an old-fashioned thing, but seriously, when you're traveling, it's really useful. You can drop your camera, you know, leave it hanging off your wrist while you do something else in your bag. Um, very useful for that, so I will probably make use of that. And uh, the accessory grip, did I mention that? Um, I will be looking for the accessory grip. They didn't have it where I bought this. Um, I've been told they will be getting some in. So I'll either get it from there or get it off eBay or somewhere, uh, depending on the price. I'm quite keen to have that. Oops. Uh, the other things different, these buttons are now um, are no longer glossy. I think there's the same material as this stuff, which is extremely hard wearing. Um, some sort of a 
mineral, I think. Uh, very, very good buttons. Uh, much better than on the 800 and 900. So those are very good, but they're glossy here, and here they're matte, uh, which is fine. doesn't really matter either way. Looks fine. And other changes, so obviously up top here, it's telling me that there's the SIM tray and to use that little plonky thing there to get into the SIM tray. Let's pull that off. Okay, put that away. Mm -hmm. SIM tray, good stuff. And let's peel this thing off, shall we? This is the bit, bit isn't it? I just realized this didn't have a thing on the screen. Oh well, maybe that it just had that other plastic around it, yeah, so nothing to peel off the front. Oh well. Um, we get to peel this thing off. Oh, it's coming straight off. It's sort of a matte finish there, so it uh, peels straight off. Now that is very nicely done. When I saw the first prototype of this camera, I thought it was pretty ugly. This big bulbous thing. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. But like with virtually all Nokia prototypes, once the real the, the final device is created and you see it, it, they look much better in real life than they do as pro in prototype form. Um, and so this does as well. I mean that hump is really nothing much at all. Um, quite nice. 41 megapixels, pure view and all that good stuff. Okay. Um, don't know what else I can really show you. The other bits are going to obviously be talked about in the actual review I do of this, which is going to focus on the camera and not on the um, rest of the device. I'll talk about the screen, of course, because that's different. I'm going to compare it directly to this one. Might do that in a moment. Um, oh no, I can't. Uh, I don't want to have to go through a long setup. And I'd like to set it up properly. Um, so I'll do that myself after this, yeah, and then I'll come back for with a review and look at the screens. I'll do it then. I'm a little bit concerned about this um, the lens thing, you know, the lens cover. On this camera here, I used to keep a little tiny, a little bit of this microfiber in my pocket and just wipe that now and then. I keep a piece um, in my jacket pocket and wipe that now and then. With this one, uh, oh, and while it was in this case, I didn't really touch it that much because you couldn't, you know, you could keep your hands flat on the back and not touch the uh, lens so often. It's very important to keep that, to keep your fingers off that, to keep it um, for for flare-free photos. You know, maximum contrast. And so here, though, it's much bigger. And I'm just trying to see how recessed that is. No, well, it's it's what you, it's what it looks like. It's a uh, it's a millimeter, less than a millimeter below the surface of the, you know, below, below this um, surface. And so if you touch that, it's it's easy to touch. It's quite large. I guess the best thing about this, having this thing, is you can always tell where you are and just try and avoid it. Yeah, but um, as soon as I touch that, I'm going to have to be wiping it again. And so the concern was exactly how easy is it to wipe, or is grit going to get stuck in the edge or something? I'm not really sure how that's going to go. Um, just looking at it with a magnifier. Hmm. It's pretty tightly put in there. In fact, it goes underneath the edge of the, the uh, aluminium. This is aluminium. Um, might clean all right. Okay, I'll stop this there because otherwise I'll be going on all night. Yeah, thank you for watching. Um, stick around for the next video. Uh, I'll do it soon, a few days. Won't be long. And uh, if here's a good thing. If you want to know anything about this, about the camera, about the phone, for when I come back, ask in the comments to this video, and I'll keep an eye on them. I haven't been answering a lot of comments because I just haven't had time. I'm sorry. But um, ask some questions, and um, I will answer them in the video if I can. Okay, well, thank you very much. And um, catch you again soon. Bye bye. Ooh, I should hold it that way, shouldn't I? There we go. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, bye bye now.